I'm Greg Owen, motorcyclist and lawyer. I've been riding, racing, building, and collecting motorcycles for the past 40 years. During my time as a professional motocross racer in the 70s, I decided to give up my racing career and become a lawyer. I did that to help other riders who had nowhere else to turn. Over the course of my 30-year career, I've represented hundreds of injured clients and resolved their cases for more than $900 million. My goal is to tell the history of motorcycling in America, one bike and one rider at a time. Well, I'm here with Jerry today, and we're in front of a motorcycle that is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I've seen custom choppers from, who are uh, Orange County Choppers, Orange County choppers Jesse James. Jesse James. Yeah. I've seen all those programs, and I've seen them make a John Deere tractor and all that. There's nothing that even comes close to this. It isn't over the top. The attention to detail is beyond belief. Jerry, I was hoping you'd take us through the bike and show us some of these details because every time I look at it, there's something new. Something different. Yeah. Tell us the whole story, how it was made. Well, well, the bike was actually, my nephew was, uh, went to MMI and got Harley certified and came back and had, uh, Danny had my nephew put it all together. They started off with just a frame and as they went on, Danny went and changed a lot of parts as they were designing it. The, the He has a special fabricator that's fabricated the sissy bar, the foot pegs. If you look in the rims, the rims have machete rims on them. Everything on the bike has been custom made for this bike. Let me stop you. You said Danny. They're not going to know which Danny. Oh, Danny talk. Trejo. Yeah. 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 And Danny Trejo is a very famous actor. Famous actor, yeah. That Tell we've us known. some of the films he's been in. We, oh, man. Dust to Dawn, Sons of Anarchy, Machete. The, actually, the bike is uh, made from the movie. There's some, you get closer, you can see some drawings on there, the Cheech Moran and, and Danny. And his daughter's actually played a part in the movie. She's in the rear defender of it. Let's stop. Robert let's De Niro. step over here. Yeah. Okay. Let's stop over. I mean, I'd like to see this. I mean, it's yeah. just so beautiful. Um, okay. You're not pointing to... How, how can someone airbrush like that? I don't get oh, it. He has a nice artist that did this, did this for him. He's actually had painted quite a few times, and this is the only one that Danny really liked at the end. The guy's guys done different stuff, but this is the one that looks more real than all of them. You know. Is it fair to say that Danny's a perfectionist? Well, yeah, yeah, he is a perfectionist. He likes, so he knows what he wants. If it ain't right, he doesn't want it. For example, the sissy bar back there, he did it four times before Danny said that's the one we want. And I'm talking about Sissy Bar completely done. Nope, I don't want it. So he is went through the whole bike three or four different times, you know. What kind of motor do we have here? It's a it's an S and S motor inside there. It it uh it's it's actually a Harley design, but it's not actually Harley because it's it's an aftermarket motor in there. The transmission, it's a primo belt on there, it's open drive. It has uh you know, everything in it is all custom made from the foot pegs to the whole bike is custom. So I'm looking at this thing and it obviously it looks much longer than a stock motorcycle. Is this stretch or how would you call it? A, they, what they call it is raked, raked okay. out and the bike is a custom. It's actually what they call a soft tail. So it does have shocks in the bottom that, that give it some type of support. The seat is made from a guy from San Diego called Raw Leather. He actually made it from an actual piece of leather. It's a leather sewn, uh, not sewn in, it's, it's tied in. Now, was it your son? That built my this nephew. Bike? Your nephew. My nephew, Manny okay. Hernandez. What is his name? Manny Hernandez. Would you yeah. tell Manny that he's an incredible bike builder, and I've yeah. seen thousands of bikes? Yeah, I will uh, let him know. He should have been here. He had a, his mom's birthday was, so he spent the time with his family. That's a good kid. That's a good <laughs> son, isn't it? He's a real good kid. Real okay. good kid. So, I'm looking at this, and it just—it's beautiful. Now, this is all. What would you call it? Molded. So you don't see any of the welds or anything? Exactly, everything's been molded. The bike's been, the bike actually was built with the motor and everything in it and then torn apart to, it was fabricated all together and then torn apart, repainted and then put the bike assembled back together. So it's actually been built twice. And I'm looking, just little things like, you know, the cable's oh, yeah. going through the frame. The cable's going through the And frame. so the cables don't scratch the frame, they're, they're clear coated, they're plastic coated. They're plastic coated. You know, you don't want to see is no wires hanging out, as little as possible, you know. Yeah. It's a high compression motor, it has a compression release piston, so you have to push these to start the bike up. Though. So oh, really? Yeah. I've never seen that. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think that um, this bike is really powerful, so I don't know if Danny would even actually run it as, a, as an everyday bike, you know. This is only the second time it's been out. It was out last weekend in San Diego at Chicano Park. 
it was first showed there and now it's this is the second time it's been out well obviously if you put this in the bike show here it would win but I think it's very cool you bring it over to the booth and you're able to tell people about your nephew and how he went to MMI and then how the, he built this incredible bike. Let me ask you this, had he built any other customs like this before he built this one? Um, no, not actually, no, he's, he's a motorcycle mechanic so he's actually built and repaired motorcycles that are running on the street. This is actually his first custom motorcycle that he's done from nothing, you know, scratch. Well, I can tell you this much. Um, all the major magazines should do an article on him because you can do this your whole lifetime and not build a bike like this. Yeah, Again, I, please tell him he's incredibly talented and don't let him stop. Build more bikes. Yeah, he's actually got a, uh, people from Easy Rider were here today and they got me to get him on the phone. They said they wanted to do an article on him and the bike. They yeah, should. They, yeah, they were really impressed with the bike. They said the same thing, um, that they've seen a bunch of motorcycles and they didn't uh, uh, see anything as, as nice as this. Yeah, he's actually, Danny, before he started off, he's, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but Orange County Choppers offered to build him a motorcycle, and he says, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and have my own build, you know. Danny's a longtime friend of ours, so yeah. he's a really good guy. Well, he seems like that. In fact, I saw him riding around here earlier in a golf cart, and he looked like he was having a blast. <laughs> oh, he was. You should have seen the crowd around here. He was signing autographs for free and taking pictures for free, and he does this. He comes out here and doesn't ask nothing from anybody. Comes out to give back, you know. Pretty regular guy? Oh, yeah. Really nice guy. Hangs out all the time. Comes. I, I own a shop here in Silmar. He comes out just to hang out and be one of the fellas, you know. <laughs> That's a great story. Yeah. Well, you know what? You filled in a lot of the blanks. I, I love this store, Nick. I love the story about Danny, but I'm telling you, the story about your nephew and his first bike, yeah. that's a story I think is amazing. Yeah, so yeah, I'd like is, to thank you for yeah. taking your time and explaining all that right to on. us. Good, good. I'm hopefully, hopefully this is one of his first, you know, and then he can go on from there. I hope it is too. Yeah, he should. I, I really do. He's a young kid, so he has a future ahead of him. He does. Thank yeah, you. Thank you.